Look at this house. How freaking cute. It looks like a dollhouse. So I've been here before. I just realized today that I was here last April and that's when I <laughs> I was passing that mountain, Monarch Pass, and there was snow everywhere and this place was a ghost town. And now in June, it's so busy, people everywhere. <laughs> that was when I didn't realize you weren't supposed to come to the mountains, the Rocky Mountains in April. <laughs> So many mountains that are all over 14,000 feet in elevation. Rocky Mountain High! <clears throat> 10 more minutes till I get to my campsite. That's awesome. I did not get to upload a video. The Wi Fi just was not cooperating, and I wasn't going to sit there all day and wait for it. So today's the 11th. Is it the 11th or the 12th? 12th. So, four more days and so I can upload a video and I get my, my Wi-Fi back. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, 285. Monte Vista, Buena Vista, Leadville, and Gunnison. Gunnison. Gunnison was gorgeous. If any of you guys watched my videos from last spring. <laughs> Man, RVs, RVs, RVs. Continue on Collegiate Peaks Highway. Okay, I will. I passed a brewery. I haven't ate all day. It's um, I ha it's almost four o'clock. Yes, that mountain, that bad boy. That's the one I passed last year. So yeah, I passed this. So many cool little local eateries and brew pubs and. Oh. <laughs> it's so hard saying no. going to be high enough in elevation at this campsite. We were over 9,000 feet and this is only eight something so we'll see how hot it is and reevaluate. Okay. That mountain sure looks different with no snow on it. <laughs> be a beautiful drive and a much different experience this time, I'm sure. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, let's see where we're going here. Continue on County Route 215. Five more minutes. That's pretty. Hey horsies. Okay, I've never seen a sign that says health alert, plague, something, something mania and tick-borne illnesses have been found in this area. Wildlife management area. It's 89 degrees, which is a little too warm compared to the low 70s at Poncho, Poncha Pass. <laughs> A 
lot of campers out here. Summer in Colorado, it's pretty freaking nice. It cooled off significantly since I first got here. Guzzy, let's go this way, buddy. I want to see something. Come here, buddy. Come here. No. Uh oh. You got pricklies. You got pricklies, buddy. You gotta watch out. Yep. We got cacti here. Ah. Oh. I wonder what the sunsets look like here. We'll see you soon. Mountains in every direction. <laughs> Gotta love it. Checking in. So I just made dinner. My first time making this recipe. It is butter chicken. It's um, an Indian dish. So it's got obviously chicken and I use chicken thighs. Um, cinnamon, uh, chili powder, turmeric, ginger, um, onion, garlic, tomato paste, and heavy whipping cream is what give it, gives it the creaminess. This would be awesome on a big bowl of rice or some cauliflower, but I didn't have any, so I'm just eating it on its own. And it's really good. It's spicy, but it's not too, too much. Um, and it's also not too hot. Um, the chili powder was a good addition to it, but not so much that you can't feel your tongue. I don't like heat where I'm like, I can't feel... I can feel my mouth burning. That's not fun for me. But if you like Indian food, I mean, obviously you will love this. Very good. I'm going to make it again for sure. <sighs> Beautiful. The sun is setting. And the view outside my bed just keeps getting better and better. Say hi! So I was just about to go work out. It's like a little after noon right now. And I was going to go out and lift some weights and, and do some strength training. And then I just got so lightheaded and dizzy and shaky. And so I realized that my blood sugar was low. So I came back in and made a smoothie, and this is usually what I've been doing. Um, I don't eat breakfast, I just have my coffee. And then for lunch or sometime in the afternoon, I'll have a smoothie. And then for dinner, I will have veggies, either salad or steamed broccoli or something like that, with some protein and some fat, like chicken, beef, or fish. Um, I've been eating smoked salmon and um, sardines, herring, uh, because they have mackerel, because they have lots of good omega-3s in them. So not just protein, but also the good fat. So anyway, I'm about to have my first smoothie, and it's coconut milk, spinach, avocado, and some strawberries. And this is my ninja fit blender so I feel see I'm still shaking can't even hold anything straight but I hold the I put liquid up to the eight ounce mark and then fill everything else up and then it turns out to be the right consistency I'm finding so far so let's whip it up and see the thickness of it What do you think, buddy? It's too loud. 
I'm too smelly. Yeah, I know. This is not as efficient as my magic bullet. My magic bullet, I could do it for like five seconds and it would pulverize everything. But as you see, there's some pieces of, well, there were, I could have sworn I saw some leaves of spinach that didn't get grounded all the way up. Ground. Oh my God. I can't even think straight, man. I gotta stop going so long without food. So, I'm definitely going to use my my straw since this is so thick. Okay. I should have added some protein powder in it but it makes it a little gritty so it's not as good and so does the the psyllium husk fiber but I just needed something in my stomach get my blood sugar normalized mm, that's better it's funny the green and the red makes it look like a mocha or something Okay, so after I drink this, then I can feel a little better and then go work out.